everybody, this is Joe Workman, and today in this video, we're gonna look over the new toggle stack that came in Total CMS version 1.1. And it's a very simple stack. It's essentially toggling content on or off. And it's done via a nice, beautiful little toggle switch that we have grown to learn to use using iOS and iPhones and all that stuff, right? So let's jump in and see how easy it is to use. So here we are inside the total CMS demo file and we're gonna see a really simple example here, okay? Here I have a section on the content page that says total toggle, the toggle is turned on, okay? And if we go over to the admin page inside this project, you'll see that we have a total toggle section and we have a nice little switch here. And the currently this switch is turned on. And if we were to turn this off, as you see, we have a nice little switch animation. I could turn it on again and I can turn it off again, okay? But now I've turned it off, okay? And let's go ahead and look at our content page again. So if I scroll down on the content page, if you remember that total toggle section was right above the feed list and it's not there right now because I've actually toggled that entire content area off. If we were to look at the edit area for the admin toggle stack, the one that actually contains the switch, we'll see that the setup is really simple. We have our CMS ID, which I have it currently set to toggle, right? We can define the different types of, of buttons that we want. Do we want a round button? Do we want a normal square button or a rounded square button, okay? We have various things. We can have a tiny button. We can have a large button, okay? So it's really up to you in terms of the style. Now, the style option here allows us, if you're using foundation, to actually leverage a lot of the swatches and styles already defined inside site styles, okay? However, you can also choose custom, and this will allow you to choose three different colors that are used to style the switch. And of course, we have an alignment option for left, right, and center. But really, the toggle stack is really simple. It's just turning something on or off. Now, I've decided not to have a placeholder text for the toggle because I thought it was easy enough to add a paragraph or some text to the stack. Um, and I wanted to be able to have more flexible. Maybe you wanted the text on the left or the right inside of a two column stack with your toggle, okay? So I didn't add a placeholder into this stack on purpose because I wanted it to be flexible. Uh, since the switch is such a small amount of content, maybe you wanted text on top or maybe you wanted it on bottom or you want it on the left or the right via a, a column stack. So if you do want a label, which you probably do want one to label it, right? Uh, just use a paragraph or text stack uh, to be able to do that. Now, if we look at the content side of the toggle stack and we look at the actual edit mode, you'll notice here that the settings are very simple. We have our CMS ID, which should match up with the CMS ID on the admin side. And that's it. Whatever you place inside the toggle stack will get toggled on or off. It can contain anything you want. As you see here, I have a column stack with some headers and some text, right? You could have a three column stack. You could put whatever you want inside here and it will not be displayed on the web page. Now what's important is the toggle content is never even downloaded to the browser. It's not just set to be displayed or hidden, okay? The actual content is never loaded on the web page. So that's very powerful. Now you'll notice inside the toggle settings, there is also a setting to show different content when the toggle is off. This gives you two options. So you can show content when it's off and show different content when it's on. And as you see, it's just a generic stacks drop zone area. So you can really add whatever content that you want into the toggle stack. That's crazy simple, right? I mean, toggle stack is easy. Toggle something on or off. Right, And again, you can have different content for on and off as well. This can be used for so many different things, right? I mean, the use cases are so much, right? You want your customer to be able to turn on and off holiday messages or in-store messages or whatever, right? It's just an easy way to toggle things on and off. Maybe for you as an admin, if you have a, let's say a super admin page that your customer doesn't know about, you can turn stuff on and off for them inside their admin area, right? Um, 
just some ideas, right? Just some things that you can use to um, show stuff, not only maybe on the website, maybe on your admin page as well, right? So um, I hope you use the toggle stack. I hope you like it. I hope it makes your, um, your lives a little bit simpler. So thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.